Hey, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot doing a quick review. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, if any card repeats, I will point that out in case of something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I will point that out in case it's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I did a pre-shuffle with the Runic Tarot, and I'll show you the decks in case you want to um, get one for yourself or for somebody else's gift. Um, I Just to get an idea of, of what was going on with your life. So... Taurus has somebody coming back around, um, and it looks like you might as well. Your person is coming back for Nook Nook. <laughs> so if there's somebody that comes back into your life dur during this Mercury retrograde, it's because they're horny. Um, in fact, I do want to clarify the Queen of Cups, but you have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and I feel like if you wonder if Southern, whether or not somebody is still emotionally mature, not only are they still emotionally immature, they're going to seem even more so, even worse. Um, and yes, it is somebody that like you may possibly see them as like kind of like a soulmate. I hate to use that term, but um, that you've been maybe things have been kind of quiet. Um, they're coming back because they want some. They want to get some. So yeah. Um, on the bottom was the Knight of Cups. They're gonna offer you love, and I and I ask, is it is it like real normally the nine of cups i always see is like that's like real love genuine love they're on a you know white stallion that's like purity um good intention so i but i was like after seeing the the ace of wands i was like yeah is it real is it genuine clarified by the five of wands they're just i, I don't know if they they i don't they want to fight but to me that just says that's just more clarification of it, it, they're horny. <laughs> it's just, there's no other way to put it. So Gemini, um, a lot of you, for, if you're here, by the way, to hear like a highly spiritual reading or, um, you know, oh, your energy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not, that's not happening here. I'm just going to get right to the nitty gritty. And yeah, this, there's a person that's going to, if they're going to come back, it's coming back because they're horny. They, they, miss the physical aspect of relationship not so much the emotional or any kind of connection all right so let's get into the financial part let's see what's going on with i'm gonna i'm gonna do it weird and by the way a lot of you all either are dealing with or have dealt with a pisces because as i was choosing the decks i kept thinking well pisces would like that and i'm like wait no we're doing gemini Oh, well, Pisces was like, okay, no, it's Gemini. <laughs> so you may be dealing with somebody with someone rising or Venus in Pisces or have dealt with, it, like, a, there's an ex, and it could be that person that's popping up that wants a little nook nook. All right, so the deck, this is the steampunk, but it's not the normal one. This is the um, wisdom from the gods of the machine. So this is a little bit different. And on the bottom, there's two. It's split. So you have the Emperor and the Navigator of Engines. Navigator is like the Knight. Knight of Wands. Okay. Before I... Before I say that... I know okay so lady is this deck is weird the lady is okay navigator is actually the king okay so king of wands okay because messenger of airships is the um the knight so oh this is so confusing before I say that I should have made myself a um a where is I just want to make sure captain oh, okay no 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 okay so navigate so messenger is page navigator is um knight and then captain is king or yeah king so king is captain oh this is the cute most confusing deck but, all right so so you basically have the knight of wands and the emperor on the bottom so you could be dealing with somebody w with aries or sagittarius energy um 
Aries, Sag, and Pisces. Oh, interesting. That'd be a heck of a combination, wouldn't it? But look, these are the, in this deck, these are the cards. This is the, the Emperor. It's a cool deck. I love this deck. Um, and then this is the Knight of Wands, the Navigator of Engines in this deck. Pretty cool deck, right? All right, so for your money, what's going on with your money, though? This is going to be interesting because i got to remember, Messenger is Page. <laughs> I should have written a cheat sheet for myself. I, I've done that with other decks that are weird and confusing. Like the Illuminated, I think. The Psychic Tarot of the Heart has a cheat sheet. The Dog's Tarot that I gave my sister, that one, I, I had a cheat sheet in it. Sometimes you just got it. All right, so... So here is the Page of Cups. Messenger of Submersibles. <laughs> All right, so nine of swords. Wow. So are you stressing out over money? Um, there's the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, yeah. So a lot of you all have had a lot of disappointments in, um, in the money department. Ten of... Pentacles. Well, look at this, though. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, this is good. So whatever's happening, it's going to turn around. So if you've had a lot of really bad disappointments in, financially lately, it's going to turn around. And here's the thing. Here is the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. It's Ten of Le Leviathans, but Ten of Pentacles. So things are going to turn around. So if you are disappointed right now with your financial situation, it's going to turn around. I would not here. I'll put it here so you can see. Um, so you have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. I like that right in the center. Wheel of Fortune in the center, and then the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. That, come on, that's, that's good stuff. Now, the thing is, your luck is gonna, it has been affected by stress and heartbreak, I think, but it's gonna turn around. Now, I don't know if if your money is somehow, it has something to do with the internet or, or travel or distance um, or foreign culture because the world card, this is, the cosmic blueprint is the world card. Um, I know it doesn't really look anything like, you know, the world card, but so things are going to turn around and I think... Um, you just have to wait for like the wheels to start. I don't know. I almost feel like you're you have to be a little bit patient. Although you kind of feel done with things financially. But things are going to happen quickly though. So there's going to be a turnaround and it's going to be fast. And I like that. And especially with the 10 of pentacles on the bottom and then the the um wheel of fortune in the center. So even if you're stressing out and you've had like a lot of heartbreak financially, it's going to turn around. So let's look at your career with the Tattoo Tarot. That is a hard deck to read. Ooh. Ooh. I really, <laughs> I knew when I chose it, I was like, well, this is going to be interesting. Um, Ace of Pentacles. So you're focused on, those of you... Your career, right now, you're definitely working on making money. And mo there is money, you know, whether it's new money or a lot more of it coming in. But you're focused on, you're working hard to make money. I mean, who isn't, right? But um, is it a new job? Maybe that's what it is. Could be a new job. Knight of Pentacles. All right, so... There it is again. So three, here's the thing. Three of swords and three of airships, it's the same thing. So I can read this. You've had a lot of disappointments in money and career, possibly love life, but because three of swords is usually like when it's in a love reading, it's like, you know, um, getting betrayed, getting your heart broken. Um, a lot of times by betrayal, you know, with somebody else. But look at the, so are you all... I don't want to say that. What the crap? I 
don't want to believe that Geminis are messing with anybody on the job. I just don't want to believe that. But you have Three of Swords, the Lovers card, the King of Wands, King of Coins. This is good because this is you, you know, this is stability. Um, Nine of Wands, and that's, you know, feeling like you've been um, worn down to a shred and you're like, been through a war and you're like tired and you're just worn out. Um, so you're trying to be strong and hold back. Now, I don't know if you're trying to, to be strong and hold back and not flip out on your boss or customers or, um, employees or quit. You know, you're, you're just trying to tame the inner beast so you don't flip out on people or, or act rashly because with the strength card on the bottom. So, um, what is the... Just out of curiosity, what is the lover's card doing here in your career reading? It looks like a lot of Geminis. Y'all, I'm telling you. It could be some of you all have a sex thing going on with somebody. Wow. Well, I mean, I, who might have judged, right? Wow. Just be careful because... If you're not careful, um, there could be, not for everybody, obviously, but for some of you, um, if you're not trying to have a, a mini you, just be careful. All right, so I am going to push this up, and let's go right into the love read, since it seems like it just wants to be, wants to come out. Um, for those of you, though, oh, I keep getting notifications. Um, for the king of coins to come out, Whatever you're doing is bringing a lot of stability, and you're it's going to set you up um, in really, how do I put this? It's going to bring you a lot of stability, future stability. So whatever it is you're doing, even if it's making you feel like you're worn down and you feel like you've been through a war, it's going to be worth it. Um, so, yep. <sighs> Knight of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups in, oh, and I didn't even show you the... Um, the good tarot for your love reading. So the Knight of Cups is like somebody reaching out, offering love. Uh, the Knight of Cups is a Pisces card. I'm just going to put that out there. So let's see. So like Taurus, have you been staying to yourself? Have you been quiet? Um, if things between you and someone else have been really quiet, like there's no communication, um, you're trying to just pay, like listen to your intuition because Hermit card on the bottom, that's a Virgo card. Page of Earths. Does somebody want to apologize for something? But look, here it is again. This, was it, you oh, no, it was, um, it was Taurus, I think, that got it. This is basically the, the player card. This is like the Knight of Wands. So, actually two Knights have shown up now. So yeah, somebody is going to reach out. Um, but this one is somebody that, it could be somebody who's a player. And it could be somebody who's apologizing for acting like a player. Um, they're feeling burdened. Um, and they want to grow with you. They may want to have children with you. Um, and they do actually have a lot of love for you. Look at this. They do have a lot of love for you. So their intentions are good because, uh, <laughs> well, maybe not because once again, queen of wands, wands are all about sex, passion. That's what they're, they're bringing is the passion. All right, well, let's just push this forward and we're going to do the general spread with the steampunk deck, which is not ambiguous <laughs> at all. It's an easy deck to read. That's one of, that's why it's one of my favorites. Unlike the other steampunk deck, which is just, oh my god, it's a weird, weird deck. But I like it. I do like that deck. All right, so um, on the bottom, yep, communication coming in. Somebody's going to reach out. Interesting. You know, it, of course it happens when Mercury goes retrograde. You know, people from the past returning, you know, retrograde, return, resurface, reevaluate, retry, you know. It's that return. 
King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, there's the past. Two of Swords, that's indecisive. Five of Wands, that's a chaotic hot mess. Or this, is this somebody that brings drama everywhere they go? They're always bringing drama. Um, and they could actually be somebody who, they either, okay, so either they are very materialistic or they're just, they, they have a lot of money. That even if they act like they don't, they have money. They can be, I don't know if they could be stingy. What's going on? Um, I got the hangman. That doesn't really answer that. Uh, well, anyway, so they may have tried to keep you waiting and now they want to work together. So they're going to come back and offer you love, but they're still going to be indecisive. Look at this. And it's going to make you indecisive too. Look at this coming back and then still being indecisive. <laughs> so I don't know who you're dealing with, but it looks like they're kind of a, you know, like they're kind of a dramatic, chaotic, hot mess. All right, so if you are dealing with an Aries, we're just going to go right into the all signs. We're going to use the uh, Radiant Wise deck for the all signs. The Empress card kept coming out. That is a uh, Taurus and Libra energy. Look at this. Here you are trying to decide if something is even worth it. You're like, what did I get out of this? <laughs> what should I even... Is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? All right, so... Aries, they want to commit to you and work together with you. All right. Taurus, they like money, and they're, they're actually being quiet right now. Um, I don't know if they're resting, healing. I'm not sure what's going on. Je dealing with a fellow Gemini, they, f they feel stuck and they're horny at the same time. T uh, cancer is kind of bitchy, but they're going to reach out to you. They're going to be, gonna be uh, cold and bitchy, though, in the process. Leo, they want to reconnect, and they're going to do it quickly. They're going to come back fast. Virgo's a player. Um, they like to keep you in the dark. Libra wants to make things right, but at the same time, they're arguing. They're, they're argumentative. I shouldn't say they're arguing, but they want to make things right, maybe about an, because of an argument. The Scorpio, they're going to come rushing in. You make them happy. Sagittarius, they want to restart, but right now they're just focused on work. And I think they do actually want to work on it. Um, but at the same time, the Sagittarius is trying to decide whether or not it's worth it. Capricorn, <laughs> I don't know if it's if it's their impulsiveness that's caused them to feel left out in the cold or if they did something impulsive to make you feel left out in the cold. I don't know. We get the Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so the Aquarius, that was Capricorn. The Aquarius is feeling burdened and they're waiting to see what you're going to do. Pisces is a dramatic, look at this. So yeah, for a lot of you all, you're dealing with the Pisces. First of all, they're a dramatic hot mess that wants to reunite. They're bringing, this is the Pisces or dramatic hot mess that wants to reunite. And look at this. They're not realistic in love. And I feel like they're always looking at the, they're always like, they want to have lots of options, lots of choices. They can't decide. So is that somebody who keeps their options open? Ugh. All right, Gemini. I keep wanting to say Pisces. All right, Gemini. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.